Hello everybody, Tyler here. We have moved into a new room and this has given me the opportunity to like change the videos around. We have better lighting so uh, all the lights on my face instead of behind me and hopefully we have better sound. But I'm going to take this opportunity to show you what I do to record my videos and then what I use to play Puzzle and Dragons. The most important thing here is obtaining a capture card. So in order to get that high quality content, um, you want a, a a capture card and this is the Extreme Cap U3 by Aver Media and the reason why I like this one so much is because it has that USB 3 output. Um, a lot of capture cards connect directly into the motherboard because I'm studying abroad I don't have my desktop PC anymore I had to buy myself a laptop and then this I don't know if you can integrate um, a capture card into a a laptop's motherboard so you know this one is just a USB 3 and it just connects to uh, my USB. Let's talk about what else you need to record this content here. I have two HDMI cables they're just standard HDMI cables I got off of Amazon. We need two of them one that goes into the capture card and uh, one that goes into your phone and uh, you connect both of these through this thing here. This is pretty important to have here. This is an HDMI splitter. This one is a one to two um, and there's the serial code if you if you want to use the same one because I know uh, this one specifically works because if you if you record content f from your iPhone to your capture card you can't do that because there's um, there's a copyright protection on the HDMI content and, and it's weird so you have to use this splitter to kind of get it uh, to strip that copyright material off that copyright protection off and I'll show you what it looks like here um, so this is the one side where you have the power and the HDMI input so this is the phone to this slot and then on the other side it's the HDMI output so you just plug it into one of these two and then this goes to the capture card and that takes out that protection. I don't know if that's legal but I think I think you have to do that. I think that's standard for HDMI cables. And finally, uh, because I use an iPhone, you need one of these. These, these are the uh, lightning to HDMI adapters. So this part connects to my iPhone and down here we have the HDMI slot that outputs here. And then over here you can put uh, power because it drains a lot of power. I have to put like uh, an, a lightning adapter to the socket so uh, in my phone doesn't run out of battery during play. So what else do I have here? Um, I have my iPhone. This is a regular iPhone 5. Uh, my first one, it's got all this damaging on it. I'm, I don't really take good care of it. I don't like having a case on mine. I like the skinny feel of it. And then finally uh, I have a stylus here. I use this to play Puzzle and Dragons. I like to use my stylus um, because you know instead of using a thumb it covers a lot of the board I use a stylus. A lot of people um, they also use their finger I think that's a really good uh, alternative instead of using a stylus. So let's connect all of this together. Hopefully I can connect all of this. So uh, here we go we have an HDMI cable HDMI cord here or uh, lightning to HDMI this will connect here um, you can also have power connect into the bottom here so this will go to this will go to the outlet this is just the uh, iPhone to outlet so it can charge but we'll take this one out uh, phone goes up here so we have this whole thing and this is what attaches to my phone and then this part goes to uh, the input, HDMI input, and then you also have to plug it in. And then <laughs> it's super complicated, but so then there's the output. It splits out, right, because you want to get rid of that copyright protection. And so you uh, plug it in. Yes. Yes, you plug it in. And then this part goes to this capture card. And then, um, I guess it's on the back, so you have this USB 3 that connects to the computer. So it's, it's this whole um, 
this whole setup makes it so I can copy uh, whatever's on my phone in HD. As for software, I use Open Broadcaster Software, otherwise known as OBS. You can find OBS on their website and you can download for free. A lot of users use it to stream their video games, but it also outputs to video. So you can output it to a video format and then you can use um, a video editing software to cut out all the things you don't want, all the screw-ups and mistakes or screw-ups in, in the commentating. Um, and I use uh, Vegas to do that, and there are a lot of really good guides out there on how to do uh, video output for OBS and video editing for Vegas. Uh, Vegas costs a little bit of money, so if you're looking for a way to record your iPhone content at high qualities, it costs a little bit of money, but that's my setup. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully this answers a lot of questions on how I record my stuff. It, it's, it's pricey. Um, there's an alternative, a cheaper alternative to doing that, and I think it's called Reflector. So you can download an app called Reflector. It costs you about ten dollars, twelve dollars. Um, my whole setup here, I don't know. It cost me a couple hundred dollars. So um, it depends on how dedicated you are with your uh, video content. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. More videos to come tomorrow. I'm going to try to do maybe a beginner's guide on how to farm dub mythlets. I had a few people ask me on how to farm dub mythlets. mythlets. So we'll get in on that. And then I think Challenge Dungeon number seven is coming out soon. I'm going to definitely be excited to create videos on that. Thank you so much, guys. And until next time, have fun. See ya.